video is an Olivia Rubin haul, or to be more specific, it's actually a haul from the Outnet, but everything that I bought from the Outnet is uh, from Olivia Rubin. Now, if you don't know what Olivia Rubin is, you might want to click away from this video now, because once you discover the brand, you're going to fall in love, and you're going to cry because of how expensive the clothing is. Yes, that's right. What you see here is $2,500 worth of clothing from Olivia, Olivia, from Olivia Rubin. Now, <laughs> that is a lot of money to spend. However, that's not how much I spent because lucky for me, I have a little shopping tool called Honey that finds me discounts online and helps me to buy things with significant savings. So I only ended up paying $2,000 for this stuff instead of $2,500. Yeah, I saved almost $500 using Honey and that's why I chose to shop on the Outnet. See, when I went on the Olivia Rubin website and was having a browse, the clothing was phenomenal. And then when I went to pay for it, I realized that I couldn't actually use Honey. So I went on the Outnet because they do stock Olivia Rubin and I added these things to my cart, went to check out. I think the cart total was 2,400 and something. Clicked the button, Honey ran its discounts. I ended up saving 300 and something or other, bringing the total down to just about two grand. So thank you so much to Honey for sponsoring today's video. Honey works on lots of your favorite websites and it's not just limited to clothing either. You can get shoes, food delivery. There's so many things that are covered by Honey. Unfortunately, the Olivia Rubin website wasn't one of them, but Olivia Rubin is stocked on Revolve, the Outnet, Net-A-Porter, and all of those websites, you can use Honey on all of those. So what I always do, and I'm, this is outside of any sponsorships or anything, because I use Honey anyway, regardless of if they're sponsoring my videos or not, I've been using it for years. What I normally like to do is before I put through an order, I see if the website is compatible with Honey. And then uh, if it's not, I find somewhere where I can get those items using Honey. So luckily, I was able to save a fair bit of money, which is why I was able to buy these things today. If you want to try Honey for yourself, go to joinhoney.com slash pretty pastel there's no catch whatsoever you just join honey save money so go to joinhoney.com slash pretty pastel to try it today and uh, start saving yourself a huge amount of money like I did with these clothes so this first item now this dress was $350 on the outnet it was on sale I remember full price I think this was at least $800 or so 350 is not not bad actually to pay for this it's a designer item it feels like it's well made i think but the weird thing for me is i have bought some clothing that looks kind of like this from yes style and it felt kind of similar that's what i often find with designer brands sometimes they cost a huge amount more but you're not necessarily getting a huge amount more for your money like it doesn't feel that much better than anything else maybe the fit will be so spectacular that I will justify every single cent. All right, well, I was definitely skeptical when I picked this item because I looked at it on the website and I thought, yeah, it's, it's okay, just okay. I decided to purchase it because I did absolutely adore the colors. I love the fact that it's a pastel gradient rainbow and it has a little bit of pearlescence to it. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at the way that it shines. Oh my gosh, okay. Look, if I stand here like this, if you can't see the front of it, I really, really like it. Look at it like this. Beautiful, right? Really, really pretty dress. Lovely colors, looks like an all right fit, but then I turn around and I look like a Victorian ghost. This is not flattering. The, the flaps here, the, this whole situation, no. Is there something that I can do? I knew I bought this bag for something. If I just hold this here and you can't see my chest, much better. I really don't like how the waist sits. For me, I think it's a little bit too low. It's not really helping my figure. If I kind of cinch it in, maybe just a little bit, does that look a bit more flattering? No, not at all. I ordered this in my own size, but I feel like the waist is very, very loose. It's not quite form-fitting or figure-hugging enough for me to feel like it's flattering. And I just kind of leave it like this. It gives me low-key clown vibes with the with the arms. Something about the puffy arms cinching in here with the frilly bits here. I don't mind that style in other contexts, but something about this whole thing, I just feel like a clown 
and I'm about to go and entertain children at a party <laughs> doesn't really feel like a designer dress and I can't really speak much for the quality either. The nicest part of this is actually the slip on the inside. The slip feels really, really nice. So the shell is 100% silk and the lining is 100% polyester. Now I feel kind of dumb because I was like, oh, the nicest part is the lining, not the silk. That probably goes to explain why the dress is so expensive. The fabric is silk. Nothing I've ordered from YesStyle is made of silk. But that being said, it doesn't feel soft. You know, when I think of silk, I think of something that feels silky, silky smooth. It, it is a little bit rough and it's actually very, very itchy around here. So we've got this elastic in here pinching the sleeves together. Something about how this is finished on the inside, it's really rough and it's itching my arms. And also the back, there's something really, really itchy about the back as well. Silk is supposed to be nice against the skin, but maybe it's not the best sort of silk or maybe I'm just being a bit too harsh. Not sure. Aside from the immaculate colour scheme, which I love, I mean it doesn't get much better than this. Pastel purple into pink into yellow into green is just... Ugh. If I could find this exact sort of shiny pearlescent silk with this same rainbow in a completely different style, I'd be very very happy. But as far as this one goes, oh, oh ugh, I just... Ugh, something's itchy. Ow! Gee, I don't know if it's just finished really badly inside, but something just poked me really, really hard under my arm. It's not comfortable at all. So this one, it does get a no from me. I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but hey, my recommendations probably don't matter that much because I just went on the website to pull up the prices that I paid for these things and they're all sold out. I'm, guys, I'm, I'm sorry. You can probably still get these things at other retailers if you just take the name. I'll put all the names of the items in the description box below. The outlet is kind of like Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack. It's the place where all of the uh, old season stock goes. So these things were old season when I bought them. Uh, Olivia Rubin has released a lot of new things so far this year, so these are a bit older. So you probably will be able to find them on sale some places, or you'll be able to find them secondhand on Depop or whatever. But as far as buying them on the Outnet, you won't be able to get these exact items. And look, you're not missing out on much as far as this dress goes. But hey, maybe some of these other things, maybe you will feel a bit of FOMO. Uh, let's try, I'm gonna say, let's try this one next. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, this is so heavy. I paid $513 for this dress, and this feels incredible. This is the sort of thing where I'm like, ah oh, yes, I can justify every cent of that. I can see why it costs that much. This is so heavy, it's very soft, really luxurious. You can tell it's made so well. It's very difficult when you're working with lace like this. This is all lace work. It's quite difficult to sew lace work together. You know, you've got the segment that is the sleeve and that's gotta be sewn into the body. And because lace, given its nature, it's lacy and there's lots of, you know, little bits of thread everywhere. It's very hard to join something like this, but this is done flawlessly. I can see the high level of craftsmanship that has gone into this one and I'm very excited to try it on. Oh, I'm so excited. You know, I just went to get changed out of this one and I noticed this. Can you see this loose thread right here in the very, very center? Not, uh, not that impressed by this dress. Uh, that's really disappointing. When you pay so much money, you don't expect things like that to happen. But the next one that I'm trying on looks like it's made a lot better than this one. All right, guys, I love this. This is crazy. This is really uh, over the top and I don't know where I'll ever wear it because to me, this is a little bit too much to be a dress that I would wear out on like a, a lunch date or a brunch date or a dinner date. For some reason, maybe because of how loud it is, I'm not sure. I don't think that I would feel confident or comfortable wearing this somewhere normal. I would wear this somewhere quite special, you know. I would maybe wear it to, uh, let's say, fashion week or something. Outside of that, I don't know where I'd wear it, but I do really, 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 really love it. It's so well made. I can't get over how good this garment is. Oh, well, hang on a second. Speak too soon. I did speak too soon. What on earth is going on here? Look at this. What is going on here? This is a bit of purple thread from this purple flower here, and it comes all the way over here, and it's attached over here at this green one. And I don't really want to pull it off because I'm, I'm a bit worried that I might 
damage it. Well, that was a situation where I spoke a bit too soon. It is a really, really beautiful pattern. The colors are just amazing. The lace is very soft. It's a flattering enough cut. I like that it sort of cinches into the waist here and it's got a really nice big voluminous skirt to it. Don't really like how this neckline is sitting. So it's meant to be a turtleneck and I feel like it should sit a little bit nicer than this. It, it's kind of in the center here, it's tugging downwards. Do you see that? No, oh, it should not be sitting like that. Hmm. The skirt is very full. If I give you a little bit of spin. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, yeah, don't know where I'm going to wear it. Even though it's over the top and crazy and I don't know where I'm going to wear it, it's a statement piece and I feel like it'll be really nice to have in my collection and I will find some occasions to wear it too. Just don't know where yet or quite how to style it either. All I know is that it's glorious and it kind of reminds me of the who is it M murakami is that Taka takeshi murakami there's an artist and his logo is this smiling flower <laughs> and it really does remind me of that a bit of a shame about some of these weird situations with the stitching it's a little tiny bit uncomfortable just under the arms and i think that i probably should have gone one size up i usually wear a size six in australia and I feel like I probably could have gone for a size 8 because it's just, it's a little bit tight. Like when I lift my arms up, it just kind of, it feels a little bit, a little bit uncomfortable. Probably should have gone for a size 8 in this one. But see, this one is exactly the same size as this one. But the waist on this was very, very loose and this one is quite tight. So I don't really like to see that when I shop from a brand. I like to know that there's consistent sizing. Not that consistent with this. It's probably the sort of thing where you need to look at the individual measurements of each garment and figure out if it's actually going to fit you because when you're spending that much money, you kind of want to get it right. The only thing that this is lacking for me is pockets. If this had pockets, and you guys are probably so sick of hearing me say that, but can you imagine? Can you imagine if, if that was a pocket right there? <sighs> These design brands not putting pockets in things. I would love to find this design in a top. Imagine if that wasn't a turtleneck and if it stopped here and if that was a top with maybe like a little bit more of a flare in the sleeves. Oh, I think I'd really like that. I think I would wear that a lot. Just, you know, because of how much print there is and how overwhelming it is, there's a lot going on. This is, like I said, the sort of thing you could wear to fashion week. You know when Kim Kardashian wore that crazy, they called it like the couch dress because it was just covered in flowers, the whole thing head to toe. That's kind of like this. I could wear this to a fashion show or something and feel quite confident strutting around in it. But if I wore this out to dinner at the local shopping centre, I think people would stare and I would feel a bit awkward. But you know what? Something that I could wear quite comfortably and not feel awkward in. We have this two-piece set. The top was $314 and the skirt was $330. I've seen this set all over my Instagram. It's advertised to me every time I see an ad on Olivia Rubin. I think that this one is still around. I don't think that this is considered old season. This is just beautiful. This is made of silk and this is very, very soft silk. This one feels very scratchy, but this one is really nice. Oh my God. Well, they really nailed it. With their, their gradient, whatever they did in Photoshop, the, the color codes that they used, they got exactly the right shade of pastel that speaks directly to my soul. Guys, um, you're going to have to forgive me for this one because I ordered the top in a size XL because it was the last one they had left on the website. I also ordered the skirt in a size extra small and uh, yeah, n neither thing is fitting me the way that it should. <laughs> the skirt, unfortunately, it's a little bit too tight. Uh, it's not too tight around my waist, but it's too tight around my hips. So I have a bit of a, an awkward proportioned body where my waist fits a size six, but my hips are more like a size eight. So if I get something to fit my hips, the waist is kind of gaping open and then vice versa, it just doesn't quite work. And uh, obviously because this is an extra large, the top is a, uh, the proportions are a little bit off as well. I've actually had to tuck it into the skirt a bit just to show you guys the shape a bit better. Aside from me stuffing up the sizing, this is glorious and I'm going to scour the internet looking for the right size. I'm going to try and get the top in an extra small and the skirt in a small and I love this. I think it's beautiful. It's made so well. It's so soft and delightful to wear. I could just live in this. This makes me want to get silk pyjamas. I've never owned silk pyjamas before, but I feel like I would have a very restful night's sleep if I had silk pyjamas and a silk pillow. I love it. 
I love the color scheme. It's the most beautiful gradient ever. Interestingly enough, I do also have the same set, but it's in a slightly different color scheme. Now this top is in my size, so I'll be able to see how this top would fit me if I got it in the right size once I try those on. But for now, this is the star of the show. And uh, maybe if I just look in the mirror here and kind of pull around at the clothes a bit. No, I'm sorry. It appears that there is nothing I can do to fix this situation. If you want this set and you splurge on it, you won't regret it. I don't know where you can find it right now. I think it's still available on the Olivia Rubin website, possibly. Look, even if you found it on eBay or something worn, you could save a fair bit of money and it would still be worth it because quality wise, this feels like the sort of garment that'll hold its, uh, its shape. It, it's not going to deteriorate or fall apart anytime soon. It's not like a cheap piece of clothing that's going to, to split or stretch and wear and tear. I think that you would get many years wear out of this if you looked after it. And I think you'd be very, very, very happy with it. But uh, yeah, unfortunately sizing, again, I would say maybe size up in the skirt possibly. And uh, probably get your accurate size in the top, that might help. Let's try this one on. These were the same price, 315 for the top and 330 for the skirt. I think I've got the skirt in the same size as the one I'm wearing, unfortunately. Yeah, I did, but the top's in my size. Wow, guys, who would have thought when you buy a piece of clothing in the right size, it looks a lot better. So here it is, the top is so nice. I actually think, when I go looking for that pastel one, I think I'm actually going to get it in a small, not an extra small. This extra small, while it fits me okay, there's this little tiny kind of clasp here, and when I stretch, it pops open. So I think I'll go for a small, just to avoid that happening. It does tie up here, so it's not going to split open in front of everyone, but still, for the sake of uh, comfort and uh, not having any awkward situations, I think I'll get it in a small, and I'll also get the skirt in a small as well. That being said, I don't think I really need the skirt. The skirt was more of a want than a need. It's nice to have a two-piece set, but I'm not the biggest fan of super tight things like this. It's, it's, not, it's not flattering, and I think that even if I did go one size up, I'm probably still going to have a similar experience where it will sort of show a bit more of my tummy than I'm comfortable with, so I actually don't think I need this skirt. I still really want the rainbow one, but again, it's a want. Is it really a need? I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think of the whole two-piece set thing? I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my jeans back on with this top, because I think there's plenty of people that will like one thing and not the other. You're bound to like the top and not like the skirt. That sort of thing happens all the time, so we'll pop on my jeans, but Again, like I said, the quality of these pieces, these are lovely. So as far as my shopping experience with Olivia Rubin, I would say that the silk pieces, it's uh, varied because that silk dress, that doesn't feel nice at all. But these two silk pieces, they feel lovely. This one, this is just so ornate, so heavy, so detailed. That's definitely worth it. Uh, they have some ribbed knit things on Olivia Rubin as well that I really wanted to try but I didn't get my hands on this time. So if there are other pieces from Olivia Rubin that you'd like to see me try out, please leave them in the comment section down below. I uh, can always ask Honey if they want to sponsor me again and uh, if they do, maybe we can buy a little bit more stuff. $2,000 is a lot of money. It got me six pieces for $2,000. So maybe if you want to see 12 pieces for $4,000, maybe I can hassle Honey a little bit more and see if they'll work with me again and uh, if they do tell me what you want me to review down below there's a lot of pieces on Olivia Rubin there's a lot of things that I would have much preferred to purchase over these ones but because I was trying to purchase off the outnet and not off the Olivia Rubin website directly I missed out on a lot of things but I did save like $400 by doing it that way so it's kind of like hmm do you save money and not get exactly what you want or do you get exactly what you want and spend the full price Anyway, let's try on the pants because I, I am just, I'm not a, a big fan of the skirt. I do really like skirts like this, but I just, I don't like how this is sitting. It's not, it's not great for me. But what do you guys think? It's, it's, oh, it's really cute. This skirt actually would be really nice with just a, a plain top and like a little over the shoulder saddlebag kind of thing. And like these sort of shoes. That's a look that I dig. Oh, maybe I can find, okay, 
All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of playing around with these outfits. All right, I couldn't find anything that I wanted to style that skirt with. So I think the skirt is definitely going to be returned. But the top, I do really, really love this top. I've picked up this little bag from ASOS. It's kind of like a turquoisey color to match the sleeves. And I've still got the little pink slides on. Look, I wore, I wore them the whole video because they just kind of, they matched with absolutely everything. So that was pretty easy there. But this is how I would wear this. If I was gonna wear this top out, I don't think I'd bother wearing it with a skirt. I think I'd feel a lot more comfortable just wearing high-waisted jeans. This is, oh, this is lovely. Okay, if you want any of these wrap tops from Olivia Rubin, I think you'd really like them. But it is just a shame that they use this teeny, teeny, tiny little clasp thing here. Like, look, look, if I just breathe. And it's not that it's too small because it's fitting really comfortably. It's not sort of stretching or anything. It's more so just when I move, you know, like when, when you just exist as a human and things just pop open. Yeah, not ideal. This would be much better if it was like a hook, you know, so that way if it hooked like this and there was something like this, so then that way when you breathe in, it's not going to pop open because of the the hook mechanism, maybe take note, Olivia Rubin, I think that would really help. Aside from that, if I can find that pastel rainbow one in a size small, I'll be very, very happy. So that's it guys, that's everything. I hope you liked this video. Sorry there wasn't a huge amount of clothing for me to show you. When it's a really, really pricey store like this, I would love to be able to review more items, but uh, I just can't, I can't spend that much money on clothing, that's crazy. So yeah, if there's any items that you want me to review, let me know down below. These are great special occasion pieces, you know, great for birthday parties, great for going to a wedding, great for a graduation or whatever. So I am impressed. I'm definitely impressed with the brand. I will keep an eye on their website. When things go on sale or if you can use Honey and you can shop with a discount, I think it's worth it then. It's a brand that I'm definitely going to keep an eye out on and see what they release in future. They always have pastel clothing. This isn't like some random pastel collection that they've launched. They just always, always have pastel clothing. That's just, that's just their thing. So uh, yeah, going to keep an eye on them for sure. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!